Hey, what's your name? Hey, I'm Lisa. Lisa, good to meet yeah. you. My name is Lucky. I got hats right here. Okay. I just wanted to come through. I know it's hot out here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It what is up, hot. G? You want a hat, bro? Sure. Yeah. What's up, a hat, my boy? So, yeah. so what does your uh, program consist of? It's, it's just a podcast I do. It's called Hood Stocks. I always come down here and just so like look out. So, so what, do you, what do you talk about on Hood Stocks? I talk about the streets. The streets? Yeah, I talk about the streets. I Once upon a time ago, I was homeless. Yeah. I was on drugs. You know what I mean? I'm from a, a L.A. gang. And so I've been through all the emotions. And now that I kind of changed my life around, yeah. I try to just show I love and remember where I came from. You feel me? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. This is your house right here. This is this is my this is my plastic home that God gave me that I'm so thankful for because without this tent, I I would just be out there. So this tent has sort of what grounded me and focused me and and to just having some type of a, a home feeling, you know. Absolutely. And and, and 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 I'm I'm actually thankful. Yeah, you guys. I mean, you got a roof over your head. Absolutely. Yeah. My number's two one three. And so, how is it living down here? I mean, do you have a, do you, how is it using the restroom cooking right here? Okay, so let me tell you. Yeah. Let me let me let me tell you. Okay, so being out here, I'm really I'm like this is my block right here, from the from that corner to the driveway. That's what God gave me. Even though I belong to the city of Los Angeles, out here in the streets, this is this is mine. Okay, so if you are to come to my block, you would have to ask me if you can move in on my block. Absolutely. Okay, because, uh, you know, some people charge rent. Some of the in. homeless people who charge rent on these on the uh, sidewalks, uh, huh? Uh-huh. Real shit, though? Yeah, because yeah, it's security. That's crazy. It's security. Yeah. People are, are better in numbers. And me, personally, I'm over here. I'm by myself. Um, I've been by myself for, for such a long time over here, like, for, like, uh, three, three and, and a half years. And then this man over here told me, he said, oh, you need security, you need security, which I've never because I really depend on God an awful lot. Thank you, sir. I know it ain't shit, my G. That's all I got in my pocket, it's I swear to you. And so, yeah. um, now, I've been through hearing shootings where I had to like dash to the, to the, to the floor and just stay down on the floor. I, I, I've, I've heard uh, uh, the, 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 the drugs are just running rapid. And I'm not to say that I'm not addicted. I am addicted. What are you addicted to, if you don't mind me asking? I, I prefer not to really say. You okay. Know, it's a few things, but I prefer not to say. <laughs> I prefer not to I mean, say I, I was, I, I loved, I mean, I smoked crack cocaine, I smoked PCP, but the really shit that got me was the methamphetamine. I was on that shit for fucking years. I was fucking twisting the fuck up. But, I mean, you know, like I said, um, my addiction, this particular, I don't really want to say, but it's okay. this particular addiction has been with me since I was 19. And I am. 57? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well, you shit. I mean, uh, I mean, you know, but that's a that, long that's a time. Woman's prerogative. It's a woman's prerogative to say that. Yeah. But so I'm, God has been blessed me enough to survive and to be here right now from that time to this time. And of course, you know, I have a file down at the mental health department, you know. And on top of that, I'm with the people's concern. I'm with the lamp here in um, downtown Skid Row, and with the pandemic, pandemic coming through, it's, 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 it saved a lot of people. It the, saved a lot of people. Oh, it saved, the pandemic it, saved a lot of people? The pandemic saved a lot of people. But didn't a lot of people lose their lives out here? From the, no, from the, not Skid no, Row. Not Skid Row? Not Skid Row. Why? But you would think that it would because, if you know, they're talking about you got to be clean, you got to be this. Hey, it, 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 love one, love one. Did Skid Row get hit by COVID? Nah. And why see, why is that you, though? They'll tell you that it did. Anything that, that you could you could have died from, they'll call it the COVID. But we down that. here, we didn't, we didn't, God had his hand on us like a like a bowl and, and, and we didn't get it. You know what it is? Maybe let's think about it like this. Maybe the immune system is built up so much for being in an open environment uh -huh. that it's not as sensitive as, as the motherfuckers living in a shelter type of lifestyle washing their like you know yeah i think i think it's the, the immune system and then uh it's also um uh it's like 
It might be the, it might be the drugs too. You know, ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? It might be the drugs. You know huh? It might be something it's in something the drugs, bro. I tell you something. what it is. What it is. It's, it's God. It's God. Because he's shaking that tree. He's still shaking that tree. Now, now, what we do have is a bad case of fentanyl. Fentanyl. That's the only the thing. The fentanyl that's down here is killing a lot of people. Yeah. Fentanyl. I've had lots of friends, friends to die from fentanyl down here. It wasn't the COVID. It was the fentanyl. Same thing about the Jackson died from. Same thing Prince died from. They're dying down here from. Damn. <laughs> yep. So, but we, we give a credit to God. I'm going to just say it to you. We give a credit to God, through Jesus Christ, who put his hand on us and who has saved us while we out here. Absolutely. It's only through him. Now, I'll tell you why I'm saying that too. It's because one day he said to me, and this is true, get up and go check on your housing. So I woke up and I said, God, I think I'll get up and go check on my housing. So I got dressed. I got it all together, and I went down there. When the people see me coming there at the people's concern, they started clapping their hands. Absolutely. They made me feel like I was like an uh, 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 awesome somebody. You and know? you are, too. I am, too. But Absolutely. But just to see from people that I don't know. Yeah, and just feels good. Just for me to walk in there that day and, and receive that made me go gung-ho on anything that they ask me. I'm flex. I'm going to go do it. Absolutely. So I have. And now I've got an apartment. I'm waiting to move in, in, a, in a few weeks. Congratulations. Can I give you a little hug? <laughs> Congratulations, man. That's what's up. So, and that's, that's, that's why I'm here obedient. Hey, you got my number, obedient baby. Obedient to God. Yeah, so look, right. I'm going to show you something now, okay? Yeah. Okay, now. They gave me a one-bedroom apartment. God knows I can only handle a one-bedroom. <laughs> so let's turn around and look at the building that I'm going to live in. Oh, you're going to be living in that one? In that building. Damn. It's a brand new building, never been lived in before. And I'm going to come up from the dirt up. Wow. From the dirt up. You've been living right here, watching that building be built. From the dirt, when they put the thing in the ground, and <laughs> twist and twist and twist and twist. And they put everything together, I'm yeah. standing right there looking. And I, little did I know that I would be a tenant in that building. Congratulations, that's a blessing. So, that's an absolute blessing. You know, that, I'm going to give everything. What's up, bro? I'm so sorry if anybody don't believe in God. I feel for you. Oh, you know that? I pray for you, but it's all about God and Jesus Christ. He did that for me. Yeah, amen. We love you. What's your name one more time? I'm Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, we love you. You know what, check it out. I'm going to be back around in the next two days, and I'm going to come by and I'm going to bring you something. I'm going to oh. bring you something. I'm going to bring you some more cash. But I'm gonna bring you something else. Okay. All right. Okay. And I'm gonna bring you something for your new apartment okay. that you're gonna be moving into. Uh, All right. Wow. First housewarming gift that would be. Nah. One hundred percent. Housewarming okay, gift. Okay. So now this is what I'm gonna do for you. Yeah. You came to me and you said you said to me I really don't have too much to get, but I'm gonna give you all these hats and you can work those hats just any way you want to. Yeah. But I'm gonna say to you, go ahead and you work them and give them to the people of Skid Row. Nah, I think I think I think nah, I think this is good enough right here. You, you know what so? I mean? Yeah. You I mean you if you give it to them or you sell them to them, whatever, uh, I don't I give mean, a fuck. You know, I mean, I'm not, you know? I, I'm I'm gonna do what you did, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give them away like. Yeah. Down here in Skid Row, baby. It's hot out here, man. You know what to do, doggy. Got some hats right here for these guys. Of course, through these blocks right now. Riding solo, but it's all good, baby. Just get them some motherfucking uh, some hats on their heads and shit, man. Seventh and Gladys, baby. Woo. It's hot out here. Can I offer you a hat? Yeah? What's your name? My name's Flocka. What's your name? Flocka. Flocka. Hey, good to meet you. Get yourself a hat. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good day, okay? <laughs> All right. Yeah.